I am working on the social media content strategy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through part one of my social media strategy. And this is a generic strategy framework that you can lay any type of business, any type of organization, you can lay your stuff into this framework. So I wanted to focus in first and foremost on the strategy. And I want you to see how I'm kind of thinking all of this social uh, media stuff fits in with an overall strategy specifically for a church, okay? Here is the diagram that I came up with, all right? At the very center of everything you do is your mission. Why do why do we exist as an organization, okay? So the mission has to be central. And then around that you have four four components. You have your content strategy, you have a social strategy, how you are represented on social. Right here, this could be more than just email, but I identified it as an email strategy. And then you have a live strategy. What happens here is when you have the mission at the center, you create content, and so these are really supposed to be arrows going out. You create content that reflects the mission, okay? You create, you run social reflecting the mission. So that's really what you want to go after when it comes to anything that you do in communication or marketing. Everything comes back to the mission. So what you look at here is all of these things feed into one another. This is an overall framework that if you follow it, and that's really what a framework can do, is provide the guidelines so you are intentional with what you're doing. Content feeds into what you post on social. What you're doing on social, I believe, should, in a lot of ways, should get people to sign up for your email. Email is how you get people to show up live to things. You segment and live produce, live is the crux of how you produce content. Here is where we get a little bit more micro. You've got social and I have branched out social into five different sections. The first part of social is being strategic. The second part of social is being consistent. The third part of social is being excellent. The fourth part of social is being efficient. And the fifth part of social is being accountable. Without any of those, if you lack any of those, you will eventually experience failure. Now, when we break that down further, we're looking right now at just the strategic part, okay? Being strategic on so social. A good social strategy is like a cherry Coke. It's all about Coca-Cola but it appeals to a specific type of person. And that's essentially what I believe strategic on social looks like, okay? It's like cherry Coke. Coke is the base, cherry is social. Everything, po everything points to the base, okay? Here's the part where this all breaks down. If you are not clear on your mission, your values, the personality traits of your organization, it is going to be very, very hard to create a strategy that will give you much traction because as you saw in the diagram, everything points back to the mission. So if you're unclear what that is, you're pointing back to unclarity. You're pointing back to chaos. So know what your mission is about. What you want to do is you want to, on paper, list your mission, list your values, list the personality traits of your organization, and you want to use words to describe these things that are very vivid and specific. Do not use generic terms. With the church in particular, it's really easy to get buzzwords like, we want to be focused on prayer. We want to be focused on discipleship. Stop using those words when you're talking about your mission and your values and your personality traits. Now, here's, here's where most of us live. If you don't know what you're about or your mission is generic, here's what you need to do. This is the key. You need to list traits describing your Sunday morning experience. Describe it. Is it dark? Is it light? Is it fast? Is it slow? Is it um, energetic? Is it laid back? Is it casual? Is it formal? You want to describe that Sunday morning, that in-person experience, okay? The next thing, you want to create personality-driven questions and answer those questions. So think about, think about it as if you were dating somebody, okay? If you were dating somebody, you would ask them questions like, um, you know, what's your favorite color? What, what do you like to drink? What's your favorite kind of drink? What do you like to do on the weekends? Um, what's your favorite place to shop at? And you, so you create these personality-driven questions and you answer them on behalf of your organization. It's probably safe to do it on your own and run it by a few other people to make sure that your perception of the organization is the same as their perception. So you get some feedback. But essentially that's what we're doing. Now that we've looked at the overall mission wheel and we've broken it down into the social section with the five parts of a social strategy. We look at the strategic part in particular, 
we look at if you know what you're about and if you don't know what you're about, here's the key to, your, to being strategic on social media. It has nothing to do with what platform you use, with what tools you use, with what time you post, how often you post. It doesn't have anything to do with do I use a photo or do I use a link. Those are parts of what fits into that strategy, but it is not your strategy in and of itself. Here is the crux of it all. What are we pointing to and how will we point to it? That's what your social strategy comes down to. You need to identify, so right here, the mission, the values, that's what we're pointing to. All right, guys, I'm out. Maybe I'll come back a little bit later today when I have another section developed. Peace out.